Hello everyone, and this is a video on volume of a cylinder. I'm actually going to look at a question paper 2018 November. I'm going to do question 3.1. It says, Liami and Amy planning their wedding. Amy wants a four layer red velvet wedding cake. She must still decide between a cylindrical or rectangular cake as shown on Annex Chat B. Let's look at Annex Chat B. Okay, here's Annex Chat B. These are the two cakes. This one is the cylindrical one. And then this one is the rectangular one. So here they just show you the cake without the actual drawing. Here is the actual cake. It will look like that with the prettiness around. This is a rectangular one with a prettiness around. So the dimensions are drawn on the cake. So when you go to a particular question, read everything that they will be asking you. When you see this cake, they say it's a four layer cake. One, two, three, four. So each cylinder will have a different height and a different radius. So you really need to just read these questions properly. When you look at this question, it looks difficult and it actually isn't. When you're reading the question, you'll see that these questions are not difficult. Let's look at the first question. 3.1, they say use an extra B to answer the question that follows. 3.1.1, determine the total height of the cylindrical cake in millimeters. Okay, let's go to the, the cylinder shape. This is one. So they want the total height. When you look at each tier or each layer has its own height. That height, that height, that height, that height. So they want the total. It's only logical that you add them. When you're using these signs, adding, multiplying, subtracting, dividing, it's real life math. Think for yourself, what are you going to do to get the total here? You're going to add. Another thing, the question says your answer must be in millimeters. So we do that also. Let's do the question. All right. The first layer, the one at the bottom, it's 15 centimeters plus 17 centimeters plus, plus 19 centimeters and plus 21 centimeters. Then you take your calculator, you add them all up. You get that it's 72 centimeters. But you remember the answer said we must give it in millimeters not in centimeters then we need to go to this table let me do that right for conversion in mass liters mass liters we need kilometer meter centimeter millimeter you don't write this in your answer sheet i'm just writing it here to explain to you when you, when you change a kilometer to meter is 1000 1110 then that to that that to that that to that when you're going from a bigger one to a smaller one, you multiply. When you go from a smaller one to a bigger one, going that way, you divide. That's all you need. So in this question, they've given us 72 centimeters. So if I have 72 centimeters, how many millimeters will I have? 72 centimeters is equals to, let's see, I'm from centimeter to millimeter. What number do I have? 10. Am I going to divide or multiply with a 10? I'm from centi milli. I'm going that way. I'm going to multiply. So I have 72 centimeters multiplied by 10, which is 720 millimeters. That's all you need. Right. 3.1.2, the base, the bottom layer of a cylindrical cake has a radius of 14 centimeters. Determine the diameter of the layer in centimeters. So in this problem, they've given us in centimeters and then they, are calcul they say we must calculate in centimeters. So we don't have to convert anything. So let me explain the difference between the diameter and the radius. Every circle has a center. The center is the middle point of the circle. When you draw a line from the center to any point, in the circumference the outside part of a circle is called a circumference it's called a radius and it's written in small letter r right what is a diameter a diameter is a line that starts from the circumference goes through the center goes to the other side of the circumference so 
this whole line is a diameter but you actually see that the diameter is too ready the correct plural for radius is radi so it's too ready so when you when you are given a diameter you are actually given two radis when you are given a radius you are actually given half a diameter so our question asks us to calculate the diameter and we are given the radius to be 14 centimeters it means let me write that it means for 3.1.2 a our diameter is going to be 14 times 2 is going to be 28 centimeters because a diameter this was 14 centimeters a diameter is twice two radius b and let's say calculate the volume in centimeter cubed for the base layer so they've actually given us a formula they are not giving us the formula for no reason sometimes you have to look at the formula especially in paper to look at the formula and see if you have to change it a bit but here the formula is given to you exactly as you are supposed to use it they say volume is equal to pi they've given us pi 3.142 times radius squared times height radius squared is not the diameter it's radius times radius squared means multiply the thing by itself so you can write radius times radius or you can write radius squared let's write the formula right and then write your formula is they pretend from you from the formula sheet and then substitute pi they've given us pi as 3.142 multiplied by radius they've given us 14 squared put the brackets around multiplied by height height is the height of the bottom tier which is 15 centimeters the 14 is centimeters right so 3.142 multiplied by they give you max for multiplying the square so go 14 times 14 or you can say 14 then you do the square button 196 then you punch everything in your calculator then you find that volume of the cylinder it's 9237,48 centimeter cubed okay let's look at the next question 3.1.3 the question says define the term perimeter the perimeter is the total distance around the shape so if you have a shape like it's a fence the total distance around whatever shape that you're having right let's look at 3.4 right it says calculate the area in centimeter squared of the base of the pen needed to bake the top layer of a rectangular cake so the catch here is to read properly and don't add things that they didn't ask you number one they're talking about the rectangular shape not the cylinder one not the one that we're looking at remember we had two cakes at the beginning so the rectangular one and which layer are we supposed to look at is the top layer of the rectangular shape okay let's go and look at the shape okay here the top layer is this one the top top one so you see they've given us the width of the top layer is equals to 12 centimeters so we have the width and we were given the length of the top layer is equals to 15 centimeters so they've given you the width and the length. so we can calculate the area also in your question paper they've given you the formula for area they say area is equals to length times width so both of these values you are given in the question paper let's let's do them right the area is equal to length times width the length of the top layer giving and actually they've given you the top layer and the bottom one so you really need to read properly the top layer read the question properly and read what you are given properly 15 and the width of the top layer is 12 centimeters and then the area you punch it in your calculator you find that the area is 180 centimeter squared the area is calculated in squared okay just practice it this is not that hard this is the end of our lesson